Welcome to Women in Tech series. Today I will speak with Madhu Malti Sharma, founder and president of Workshops for Me. She has been also nominated as one of the most inspiring women in tech in Belgium. Madhu Malti, as you are an EU Code Ambassador and also EU Robotics National Coordinator based in Luxembourg, could you please share your views on current artificial intelligence trends when it comes to EU-India cooperation? Very interesting question, Ada. Since artificial intelligence is embedded in every aspect of our lives, I see chatbots like ChatGPT become conversations inside and outside, both classrooms and boardrooms. Virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa, Google Home are default to enable businesses and machine learning models being widely used for automation across businesses. Three trends I see as interesting from the perspective of EU-India cooperation are 1. No code and low code platforms have made it easier to create AI powered solutions for businesses with drag and drop features that make them accessible to everyone. Every business, whether small or large, with or without IT teams, can get more out of AI tech, whether it is embedding a chatbot on the website or incorporating machine learning models for customer service. The second trend, explainable, ethical and non-biased AI will become more and more important. Machine learning models are most widely used part of AI and that relies heavily on data. There is a growing realization of the fact that a lot of AI solutions for decision making in healthcare or employment are biased, not always ethical as they do not use a wide range of data of different kinds. India with its large population will be able to bridge the data gap helping to develop more wholesome AI. And third, increased usage of AI solutions for enhancing the customer experience. Personalized recommendation on the platforms has become an expectation. Given this, retail spaces will work on creating hassle-free, frictionless, personalized shopping experiences for customers using the power of augmented reality, virtual reality, and artificial intelligence. And how women can play a major role in developing more sustainable and innovative technologies. To get more women in male-dominated areas like information technology and robotics, we must start early with our young girls. A UN study showed that as early as the age of six years, girls lose confidence and think they're not as good as boys in science and mathematics. Everyone needs to make a concerted effort to get our girls into STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. There are some phases where the girls need an extra push. One such is when it is time for them to select which subjects to take in high school based on what they would like to do at university. Teachers and parents have to help them know the possibilities for careers in STEM areas so that they opt to select it. More role models need to come up and talk to young girls, tell them about their work. It's said that if you can see it, then you can be it. So we need young women professionals showing the young girls what the options are and what they do in their day-to-day -day work. Then within organizations, there should be policies that are conducive to enable women to have children, have a life and also get back to work. So maternity leave, parental leave, work from home, time to be away for being a caregiver should all become normal across industries. Thank you so much for sharing uh, your knowledge. Thank you. Such a pleasure speaking to you, Ada. There is a long way to go for increasing participation of girls and women in technology. Let's keep these initiatives going.